Train the muscles, not the joints. I've never really answered this question before, but uh, Ruben, I think it's 9155 or 9122 or 9728142817, 2817 stormtrooper number, whatever it is. I just don't get these accounts with numbers on them. But anyway, Ruben, okay, I'm answering your question. <laughs> so Ruben's asking me, because he sees that I do the constant tension thing and I, and I understand where this question's coming from because he's probably thinking, Jason, are you just so much of a pussy that you can't lock out? Is, is that what's happening? Is that why you come up with this constant tension technique? And uh, basically what he's asking is, have I ever trained with locking out my joints? Have I ever done this? Have I ever tried it? And my answer is, of course I've tried it. Of course, in 30 years of training, I have tried almost everything, okay? So the thing is, what happens though, just like in martial arts or in dance or whatever it is you're doing, you start to become efficient at what you're doing. At some point, you start to move a certain way and then you start to realize, oh, wait a second, this is a more efficient way to achieve my goal. It might not be more efficient when it comes down to how I lift more weight because that's powerlifting, but it's more efficient in the way of me gaining muscle, okay? so. For instance, I did something in my workout vlog just the other day and I'm gonna show you a clip right here of what I was doing. So, you know, you get an understanding. On the incline bench, what I was doing was some partial inclines. Now, I did this on purpose, why, okay? Because there is such thing as elastic energy in the muscles, okay? And some of that elastic energy, when you stretch the muscle out, will actually automatically lift the weight for you. It's basically, it's based on muscle tightness, but it's not necessarily hitting the muscle that you want, nor, uh, is it necessarily making the, the exercise harder? Sometimes going down lower becomes easier when it comes down to bouncing off the joints and everything, and it causes damage, and that's another thing altogether to talk about. But what I'm saying is that lower is not necessarily harder, lower is just different, and it stresses the joints and the muscles differently. Okay, so here I am doing an incline. Okay, this is the normal way I do the incline. I'll show you this clip right here. Now this is the partial incline I was doing at the end of my set. So I do like 10 or 15 reps, full uh, reps, and then I do real short partials, okay? Now why would I do that? Okay, that's the question, why would I do that? The reason why I do that is because I want the pec to stop the momentum of the weight, not the delt, okay? So when I come down lower, when the delt starts to get stretched, it starts to take up the stress and starts to spring, kind of like an elastic band, and spring me through the incline exercise. But when I stop, when I come down just to here and then up, the pec is actually what's stopping me and that is stimulating the pec more without the, the delt becoming the weak link, you see? So this is how I'm using a bodybuilding technique to grow a certain weak link in my body at this point because I've been doing the full range for a period of time and now I'm saying, okay, this is what's developing and here's where my weak spot is. Now, how do I change this? How do I change this exercise now to hit my weak spot that I need to develop, right? Now, the reason why I don't lock out is because I have performed the experiment of locking out the joint all the way up and then all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. And then what was happening was I was getting more joint pain and I was feeling like my muscles were taking mini rests. They were actually getting mini rests. So I wasn't getting that deep burn. It was almost like uh, something else was fatiguing, but I wasn't getting that deep, deep failure in the muscle. Now, once I started using the constant tension techniques, my muscles started to grow, things started to happen, and I had less joint pain, so it was like a win-win. So that's why I went to more constant tension type movements. It was a way of me concentrating on the range of motion that was hitting the muscle I wanted to hit in that moment, and that was giving me more results. And I'm a practical guy, right? What's giving me more results and what's keeping me not broken, you know, what's keeping me in one piece is what I'm going to stick to. So that's where this was born from. And that's why you see a lot of pros and a lot of competitive athletes with certain ranges of motion. That's why you see them get very efficient. If any of you guys play hockey or have seen hockey, if you don't really know hockey, if you haven't played it, you don't realize how you can see a very efficient skater. You don't realize what that looks like. But me, from the years I played hockey, I can tell right away within about 30 seconds of watching a guy skate, whether he is an advanced hockey player or whether he is a beginner hockey player. 
it is very easy and I could tell the subtle differences between intermediate and advanced and then semi pro and then pro it's like a whole different level of the way they move their stride the way they balance the way they they use everything you know the way they use their momentum to their advantage to continue the, the speed that they have going and, and the fluid movement, they lose very little energy from the edging and the turning. So it's the same way with an exercise. In time, you'll become so efficient with it that you won't be looking just to lock out and just do things, not lift the weight just blindly. You're saying, okay, I wanna lift the weight for a purpose. And of course, putting less mileage on your joints is very important because your joints don't really heal. They heal at about 5% the speed as muscle tissue does. So joints are the last line of defense of keeping your body together. I mean, you don't want to really actually work your joints. You want to work the muscles. The muscles are meant to protect the joints, you see? So the muscles are what you want to get stronger. You don't want your joints to get a beating because they already get some mileage already just from training and they already are adapting the best way they can. But if you make them the weak link, then you just get injured, right? So. This is where this all came from. So I hope this helps you in your natural bodybuilding training. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, just put them in the comments down below. I'll either answer them in a particular video or I will answer them in the Friday Q&A. And thanks a lot for you guys that have made donations to the channel. And if you need to get hold of me, just go to my website, naturalbodybuilding.com. Take care for now.